Our next game, let's see, this is game four for the weekend is, as you can see, can you see actually? I forgot to ask you if it's showing up. Yeah, I can see it. It is showing up. All right. It yes. is showing up. <laughs> it is uh, number 15, Penn State, against number nothing, Indiana. Uh, and that is number 15 on the CFP. They moved up one from their AP slot, which was 16, uh, which is probably appropriate for Penn State. This is the 27th meeting between Penn State and Indiana. Penn State leads the series 24 to 2. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Um, the longest winning streak was Penn State 17 games from 1993 to 2012. And Penn State is favored by 14 points in this game. Penn State Ooh. is on a bit of a roller coaster ride. Last weekend, they had a shot at Ohio State. As we talked about already, I think the uh, they were within a, a field goal of Ohio State all the way through the third quarter, and then in the fourth quarter, they just they just quit. I don't know what happened, uh, but both Ohio State and Penn State scored more points in the fourth quarter than the previous three, and Ohio State uh, just ran away with it. Uh, Penn State's defense apparently forgot about the fourth quarter. Although to be fair, Ohio State's defense wasn't far off or, or was kind of off their game in the fourth as well because they allowed quite a lot of points from Michigan from Penn State. Um, Penn State has now lost to both Ohio State and Michigan. So the East Division is probably off the table for them, although they'll probably hold on to third place and get a really good bowl position. Um, Indiana really shouldn't be a problem for them, I don't think. What do you think? Yeah, I, I don't think. <clears throat> Wow. Whoops. Excuse me. I don't think Indiana is going to be a problem for him either. I, I fully expect Penn State to be uh, in a New Year's Six game, uh, just especially because I, I believe that they're going to win out. You look at their schedule. I don't know how they lose uh, any of their remaining games unless, of course, something truly tragic happens to them. Um, and yeah, I mean, that gives away my pick for this game. <laughs> but uh <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to touch on this a little bit more later, but Penn State led in every statistical category against the Buckeyes, except for two. Okay? Okay. Turnovers and the score were the only two <laughs> statistical categories. That not important, not really. Uh, you know, nothing important, no. If they had played a clean game, they probably beat Ohio State. And the whole Big Ten picture is in, is totally flipped. So it's unfortunate that they didn't because their title hopes are now pretty much gone at this point, um, just given the way Ohio State and Michigan are playing. And that's, I, I think, a shame because James Franklin, I, I think, had all of the pieces that he needed to do something special this year. But, you know, the big game losses are starting to pile up for Franklin, which to me says that he needs to figure out some sort of change in strategy. Um at least if he just wants Penn State to be relevant going into November, which I don't know why he wouldn't, but mm -hmm. I think he needs to start rethinking some things. Yeah. <laughs> On the other side of the equation is Indiana, and <clears throat> I, I don't know if there's anything even to say about Indiana. They have lost five in a row, and, and I still think Tom Allen will be looking for a new job next year. And that's all I have to say. Thanks. <laughs> when when did he get hired? 2019? Uh 2018. He's only been there a couple of years. I think it's been more than a couple. I think it was uh <clears throat> I will four, look it maybe. up. Okay. Well you look it up. I'll go ahead mm -hmm. and Give my thoughts on Indiana. I so I uh, well, it'll go kind of quick because I haven't paid attention to Indiana since the Michigan game. Actually, um, I'm really not sure what happened between that amazing season they had in 2020 and this year that the Hoosiers were so close to a championship game appearance and now they're fighting to stay out of last place with Michigan State in the Big Ten, um, at least the West Division. Or East of it, East Division. Whoops. Um, hey, it just doesn't make sense. You know, I, they're not going to beat Penn State. They've got Ohio State after that, and then Michigan State, which you know maybe they win that game. I don't know. Then it's Purdue. Who knows at this point? Yeah, really. Um, I, there's a real chance that Indiana doesn't win another game 
And they just lost their best receiver, Cam Camper, uh, for the season with a torn ACL, which that super sucks for him. So sorry to hear that. But I, you know, <laughs> insult meet injury, I guess, salt meet wound. And Indiana is not going to win another game this season. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. I think they're pretty much toast. Yeah. And I think Tom Allen was looking for a new job. It was uh, 2017 was when he became coach. Oh, yeah. He's been there a few <clears throat> years now. Yeah. Mm. So the team rivalry top secret score predictor uh, is pretty predictable on this one. Penn State, 45, Indiana, 7. I hear that. I do hear that. I, for whatever reason, like to think that Indiana is going to score at least once more than that, probably in garbage time. Uh, That being said, I do have a soft spot in my heart for Sean Clifford. I firmly believe that he deserves so much better than James Franklin as his head coach. No disrespect, James Franklin, but like I said, you can't beat the good teams for some reason. So give me Sean Clifford and his friends 38 to 14. All right. Yeah. 